Hi, my name is John Wargo. Currently, I'm an assistant professor of literacy in the Lynch School of Education at Boston College. I'm eager and happy to share with you today my recent article, Writing with Wearables, Young Children's Interactive Authoring, and the Sounds of Emplaced Invention. Zeroing in on a diffractive experiment of young children reauthoring Paul Schauer's picture book, The Listening Walk, this article charts how the withness of writing is a communicative project that is all at once elliptical, relational, and coexistent. Drawing upon conceptual approaches in sound studies, post-human literacies, and new materialisms, I highlight how writing for young learners is always already an emplaced invention of withness. In other words, I highlight how the nature of materials and discourse are inseparable, and contemplate what would happen if we shifted away from viewing writing as a way of being, and instead see it as a way of becoming with. The article works through a series of scenes that operate as strategic sketches, each showcasing alternative realities of experiencing writing with the more than human, serving as an invitation to an alternate means of experiencing data, to think and feel within the possibilities of the data and not over them towards conclusion. Each sketch hones in on what Henrique calls a rhythmic element. Sketches here are used as provocations, relational becomings incited by the withness of writing. In sum, the article demonstrates how writing with wearables is a mode of new materials production that sounds out literacy in action. I argue that a posthumanist perspective to literacy resituates research as a practice that thinks with and invites us to examine the very question of what is at stake in our pedagogy. This is not to suggest that posthumanism's attention to agential forces of non-human matter is an antidote for human exploitation or oppression, but rather to propose that it may engender the entangled nature of all matter, to witness the relational withness of all existence.